What's up guys? So we're locking up the electric booty. We're making it to off the truck liquidations. So I wanted to talk to you guys about something that really bothered me and it's nothing you guys did or nothing that happened in your guys' realm of life. But I was uploading videos from my phone to my iMac and there's like no way I could do it. Every time I plug in my phone, it says that there's no videos and after I updated my phone, that's when it started to happen. So now when I film a video, it shows up. So all of the videos will be delayed because I had three videos set up. I had a thrifting video, I had a flea market video, but I'm gonna be doing a off the truck video today. It's 25 cents, everything in the bins. So hopefully you can find some good stuff. I think it's $10 if you fill up a whole Ikea bag. I don't know if he still does that, but I feel like we could find some really good items. And I feel like down the road, I'm gonna turn this into a business where I pay some kid, maybe like 18, 20 years old, 50 bucks, maybe 75, to set up at the flea market and sell all the stuff that I get from off the truck. So if I spend like $50 from off the truck, I pay him like $50 to set up and then give him a cut or a percentage of the sales. Maybe we can make a couple hundred bucks profit and I'm already doing this every week and keep all the really good stuff that I find here and sell it on eBay. So you're making kind of like double the money and making quick sales and getting that cash. That's what's important is making that return. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I know it's really windy. Make sure you guys smash the thumbs up if you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed and ring that bell for notifications. Wow, this wind is horrible. I never saw that they had sealed video games, but they all look like they're Xbox 360. I see an Xbox One game. We got here 10 minutes ago. And look at this line. The owner right there, super nice guy, Michael. Get in the back of this line. So everything on the table right here, everything in those bins is 25 cents. Hey, what's up? All right, so I've been digging through for about probably 45 minutes. Grabbed a lot of crap. HDMI cable for Wii. This is for myself, for the house. Heavy duty brick sponge. Found this charger for a Dell laptop. I think that's a book or no, that's a DVD. Some random stuff. Some like butt plugs. Got this Bubba Gump hat. Whatever that is. Whatever that is. These things are like parts for computers, I believe, and I have a ton of them. So if I fill this whole entire bag, it's fifteen dollars, and that's my plan. Just fill it up with a bunch of shit. As long as I make my $15 back, I'm happy. All right, I would definitely say it was successful. We got a whole bag full of goodies, mostly junk, but it was only 15 bucks for the entire bag. After tax, $16.05 off the truck liquidations. Definitely a good place to check out if you guys are in the Margate area. I'll show you guys everything that I grabbed when I get to my dad's house. This is gonna be hard to carry on my bike because it weighs like probably 40 pounds. This took a big portion of my bag. This was literally three dollars worth of bullshit. I hope you enjoy it. You got yourself a little strawberry? You got yourself a little strawberry? She can't bite it because it's so big. What's up guys? So I am, <laughs> I like that intro. I was like, what is up? So I have this whole bag full of, we'll just say junk because it was all $15 for this entire bag full of electronics, goodies, some stuff I grabbed because I was like, oh, I could use that at my house. But then there's other stuff I was like, oh, it's only a quarter. Maybe I should grab this Discovery Astronomy on PC. Don't ask me why I grabbed it, but I assumed that this would be worth more than a quarter. We have phone cases. We have SNES Classic extension cables, and I have a ton of them. There's so many of these. Then there's like HDMI cables for the Wii, more phone stuff. All this I have to look up. This was a Bubba Gump Shrimp Company hat. It's like a trucker hat, it was only a quarter. I could see this selling for like 15 bucks on eBay. So I would say, honestly, this find right here will pay for the entire bag. I'm sure I'll find a couple other items that go for about 10 to 15 bucks, but for now, oh, I also got this for my roommate. He's starting to do tattoos, and last time I got him something tattoo related, he was pretty hyped. This was an Apple brand product. It is a USB ethernet adapter, and it's actually made by Apple. So that's pretty cool. I'm sure this was probably like 20 bucks at their store, so maybe like $7 resell. 
question mark, maybe, I have no clue. It could be a rare item. There's stuff like little adapters like that, if they're OEM, like original manufacturer, you might get top dollar. Here's another item like that that I have no clue. It was just some random cable, and I was like, oh, this looks like it's pretty nice. Like, it looked like it for like a guitar or some type of instrument. Here is some smash stickers. Caution, watch your step. Yeah, I bought everything. I bought anything, I was like, all right, here's some computer parts, and I bought like 20 of these. I don't care, because it was all $15 for this whole bag. I also bought a bunch of these Verizon Moto X cases, and they said $19.99 on the top, so at one point, these were 20 bucks at their store. So even if I got $4 a piece for these, maybe even $2. I also got a bunch more of those extension things. More extension, more extension. More extension. Stickers, Pokemon, woohoo. Incredibles 2 masks. This is worth like $5 to me. I'm not gonna use them, but I might just keep them. Rick and Morty air freshener? Why do you need this? I don't know. We have a men's bathroom label. If this doesn't sell for anything, I'm just gonna hang it up in my house because I'm a fucking man. Next we have the Panasonic telephone. And I don't know anyone that has a telephone in their house still. Uh, mainly because my dad got rid of ours. We just have cell phones now. But this thing's in like mint condition, so I'm hoping that like maybe a replacement one will go for like six, seven bucks. Easy money. You list it, you store it, and you wait for it to sell. That is eBay right there. You invest your time and your money into products. You list it on eBay. You don't know if it's going to sell tomorrow. You don't know if it's going to sell next year. You just keep on grinding. That's the trick to eBay. Next, we got this UK Music Hall of Fame. It does have a shitload of cracks on the back of it, but I saw another reseller grab this and he put it down, so I was like, I'm gonna show him what's up. It's only a quarter day. Just take the gamble, dude. Next, we have AC Deal MP3 player up to 32 gigabytes. So it's like some like bootleg MP3 player, but it was only a quarter. It says MP4. <gasps> Upgrade. Next we have, what the hell is this? ABC Mobile gift card. And it says $48 local prepaid SIM. Then we have this iPhone X screen protector glass. Dude, I was literally grabbing anything. This bag is still so full. Next I grabbed two of these face masks for when you're having a party for Paw Patrol. If they don't sell for anything, I know a little kid down the street in my dad's neighborhood that would definitely love to mess with these and he's gonna have a blast. So I made a little kid smile, and I only spent 15 bucks on this bag. $15 is nothing. I just spent like $9 at McDonald's. Actually, I used a coupon, so it was $7. But I got two Big Macs for $5, then I had a dollar off coupon for a large fry. And I ate all of that, and now I feel awesome. I don't feel shitty, I feel awesome. Because if you go to McDonald's, you will feel awesome. It's all mentality. If you go to Burger King, you're gonna feel shitty because McDonald's is awesome. This is a pretty dope thing. You basically use it to hang up skateboards on your wall as a display. And it's called Skateology Skateboard Display. And it's made by Art Function. Brand new in the box. It looks like it, okay, it might be missing something right there. Fail, but it was only a quarter. Then we got more extensions, more extensions. We have more of these cases. Someone told me this was something for a diabetic, so I grabbed as many as I could find. Next we have this weird charge cable. Then we have this, okay, this was for me. Every time I'm at my house, I can't find a damn brick. This is like a brick creator. Boom, you got the plug outlet part, and then boom, you have your little clicky button to say, hey, it's on. And then you got three USBs right there. Boom, perfect, I needed that. Then we got more of these little parts for a computer. I grabbed a bunch of these. I think I have three or four of these, so hopefully I could bundle these together. Maybe even bundle them with the mask. I grabbed this thing. It was a comfort wand. I have no clue. It looks like it could be a sex toy. It looks like it could be for something clean. I don't know. These are called Kegel Balls, and they are definitely some type of, yeah, it says user female on the back, and uh, definitely some type of butt plug stuff. But, you know, everyone is welcome to Connor Thrifts. Women, children, adults, we have everything. We buy everything. I don't, oh look, if you ever break your finger, come to Connor Thrifts. I got finger supports, we got extension cables, we have, what is this? Tempered glass. Look, we have this Pro Filter, and it's for a Mavic 
to Zoom. This actually might be worth something. I think this is one of the items that I grabbed and I was like, wow, I might have actually found something good on quarter day. Then we have more of these. Then we have more of these. Then we have stickers. I love these sticker packs. You never know what you're gonna find in them. Two piece magnetic power relay. And there's two of them. I believe I grabbed another one somewhere in here. This is it, right there, the power relay. Then I grabbed this, I don't know what it is, I kinda just grabbed it and I was like, oh, it's only a quarter. We got a Honey Rain air filter for a lawnmower. That's pretty cool. Then we grabbed a really nice Dell laptop charger. We grabbed this metal leaf gilding adhesive. I don't know, it's brand new in the packaging. We got more of those cases, more of those cases, more of those cases. We have this battery tender, Charger. I don't know what it is, but it looks name brand, so I grabbed it for a quarter. Then we have friend stickers. If you guys know me, I love friends. Then we have random stickers. I don't even remember grabbing this. We have this. Oh, wait, I think I have a whole bag full of them. That's why. There was a whole bag full of these, and I was like, oh, can't go wrong with a whole bag full of lights. You never know when you're just gonna need random green lights. All right, I'm just joking. But I was trying to take gambles here, guys. I was like, oh, all these other people are passing on this bag of lights. I'm gonna buy the bag of lights, cause I'm weird like that. I'm very surprised I actually have enough energy to do this video, I'm so tired. We got more extension cables for the SNES. Boom. Next, we have more diabetic stuff. Diabetic, diabetic, diabetic. Horuz D. Sorry, I got it wrong so many times. And this is a quick release grease copeler. Yeah, copeler, coupler. Coupler, definitely coupler. And it says, Harden Four Jaws. That sounds strong. We got some more random cables. We got some more diabetes stuff. We got this random mouse. This would be a cool, like, maybe like five to ten dollar replacement item. They're like, oh, I have the little dongle, but now I'm missing the mouse, or my mouse broke. You have it here. This is the Logi. Next, we have more extension cables and more. And then I grabbed these. I don't know why, but it was only a quarter. Penn State, I was hoping when I grab weird things like this, I was like, oh, I'll find a bunch of them, bundle them together, we have Penn State napkins. I don't even know anyone that likes Penn State in Florida, but if I ever meet someone, I'll be like, yo, you like Penn State? I have the item for you, I have napkins for you, cause you're so dirty. <laughs> that would be such a effed up gift. Be like, why are you giving this to me? Are you trying to say something? Next we got the John F. Kennedy CD. Pretty dope, it's brand new sealed. It was only a quarter and that's why I grabbed it. We have the Noma Today and it looks like it's some type of weird DVD with coffee on the front. Another blank CD or DVD, <gasps> sorry, it's a DVD. It says it right there. But this is for like maybe when you wanna record your own pornographic film. You never know, maybe like your kid's soccer game. Best of both worlds right there. We got the Incredibles 2 wristbands. We got some rings just in case you're very poor and you can't afford wedding rings. We have this case which was nice which was like an iPhone XS leather case and I thought it was a pretty nice box so I was like all right. This is a tablecloth that is Fortnite related and I love playing Fortnite if you guys didn't know that. Message me your names or comment your names your epic name so I could battle you or whatever they call it nowadays, whatever the cool kids say. Oh yeah, here's the other part of that charger. I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm not thinking right. We got this random thing, I don't know why I grabbed it. We got more computer parts. We got this for my roommate because he draws a lot and I'm sure he messes up because everyone messes up and makes mistakes, that's life. More stickers and this one's The Office which is the trash show, Parks and Recreation is way better. Boom, more of those green lights. This was a sponge for my house because I needed a sponge when I cleaned the dishes. So I'm gonna look up some stuff. Everything's on my floor, it's really dirty now. I'm gonna come back to you guys and show you guys some of the best stuff that I grabbed at off the truck. Paid $15 for everything. After tax, it was $16.05. So I just wanna get specific with you guys. So make sure you guys leave a thumbs up if you guys made it this far into the video. I hope you guys did not leave already. I'll be back momentarily. All right guys, so I took a nap, ate some food. I need to order some pizza for my dad and I for dinner. So I'm gonna go through some of the best finds. Basically anything in this pile over here is gonna be a $4.99 auction. And next week, I'll try to do the same type of video and go through what sold in the auction. But we got stuff like this DVD, these like Paw Patrol stuff. We have some cases for phones. And they're not terrible, they're just not the heavy hitters. I'm gonna show you guys some of the best finds and there were some really awesome finds, don't get me wrong. So first we got this Pro Filter 
And this was going anywhere from 10 to $30. I think I'm gonna post it for like 20 bucks or best offer and shoot for like 10 to $15. Next was this Logitech. I thought it was just Logi because it just says Logi, but it's Logitech and it's a mouse and it goes for 20 to $60. $60 is brand new in the box, but $20 loose, I'll take it. It was only a quarter. These phone cases were going for like $6 free shipping, but I have one, two, three, four, five of them. I'm gonna put them in a bundle and try to get like 15, 20 bucks for all of them. That's what I tried to do for a lot of things. Like these stupid cooler computer parts, there's 10 of them. They go for like $2 plus like $3 shipping, but I'm just gonna put all 10 of them together in a lot and try to get like 10, 15 bucks for them. My cost of goods is so low that I could give a really good deal and still make a ton of profit. And that's why I love coming to this store. It is now like 6, 30 o'clock at night and I have to get this pizza before seven o'clock because my dad always gets home at seven o'clock right on the dot. So I'm gonna order pizza, go pick it up and have it ready for him by the time he gets home and he's gonna be like, what, I have the best son ever. And I'm gonna be like, I know. These were doing kind of like iffy and kind of bad. So I got 15 of these and there's two in each pack. So I'm gonna split one of the packs and then I'm gonna put them in a lot of 15 and post it for like 15 bucks. Like it's gonna be a good deal for whoever buys it. This is a really cool leather iPhone case and it's actually really good quality. If you guys could see it. And it is Apple brand, which is awesome. A lot of people are passing up this kind of stuff. So if I see this next time, like something with a nice slick case, the iPhone XS, leather case and it looks like it could be blue or black but they're going for 15 to 25 dollars all day on ebay the next item is this dell charger for a laptop and it's for like the xps a lot of these were going anywhere from 15 to 50 dollars i gotta look up the exact model on them this was a really good come up if you guys go to off the truck or any type of liquidation place make sure you guys check out name brand chargers they have to be like the actual dell brand OEM, original manufacturer. This Battery Tender Junior charger was going for like $30. So I'm gonna check a couple more comps, make sure it looks right, and maybe charge like 20 bucks for this piece. But you're only paying a quarter to make $20. That's an awesome score. And all of this will be listed tomorrow. I looked up the Incredibles bracelets. I have three packs, and they're going for $4.99 each. And then I also have a little mask pack that goes for $4.99. So, 20 bucks, we spent a dollar to make $20. Now this is the biggest score. Sadly, it didn't come with the main piece that makes it go for $175, but I have the charger or like the power supply and it has all these little pins. This is brand new without the box. I saw people charging $65, $75 for just the little remote. So it's missing a remote. I feel like I'm gonna charge 80 bucks for just this piece and I paid a quarter. That is incredible. I thought it was just some junk. But I was like, might as well take it out of this box for a quarter and bring it home and look it up. And that's what I did. I'm pretty sure what I looked up, it was a remote for a furnace. And there's supposed to be a remote, but it didn't come with one. I just have the power adapter. I am so happy I came here today. Lots of really good deals, lots of wholesale items that I need to bundle up, list on eBay. So I'll get all that done tomorrow. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below if you guys are interested in another off the truck video. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you guys are not subscribed, and turn on notifications so you know when a new Connor Thrips video comes out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys have a nice day. Peace out guys, bye bye. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.